Alright guys, so now that we know how to set up a simple table, I want to show you how to do a couple cool things to it, specifically how to add and delete table rows. So right now we just have something like this, and we can, you know, sort the columns, look at all of our stuff, but what if we wanted to add a new row? Well, obviously we could do it through code, but whenever we're making an actual piece of software, we don't want to have the user, you know, make them write some code to change it. You want to give them some cool controls to use. That is uh, kind of the point of software. So, actually, let me get rid of it. And by the way, this is, um, you know, nothing to do with JavaFX, but anytime you want to get rid of this gutter, you see all these tabs right here in this IDE, you can click this little button and it'll toggle them on and off. So again, I just want to give myself some more room so you guys can see what's going on. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is this. I'm going to build a little area at the bottom here, and it's going to have three little inputs. And the first one is where you can type the name of a product, the second one, the price, and the third one, the quantity. And then on the right-hand side, I'm going to have a button that says add. And whenever you click it, it adds whatever you typed in as a new row. And I'm also going to have a button called delete. So you can actually select one of these. For example, if you're like, all right, I don't have any toilets in my store anymore, you can select it, hit delete, and it will delete it from your spreadsheet. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so again, like I said, the first thing I'm gonna have is three inputs, and those are called text fields. So I'm gonna have one for the name, input, price input, quantity input. All right, now let me scroll down and I'll start building them right under the columns right here. And these are are going to be uh, you know, really similar. And actually you already know how to make all these inputs, so name input equals new text field name input and what I'm going to do instead of having a label I'm just going to have prompt text so inside the actual input I'll just have a light gray um, bit of text and it will just say um, set prompt text and I'll just say name so the user actually has a little indication of what they're actually supposed to be typing in there and an optional thing that you can do a lot of people like to do this is if you set the min width for each one then uh, I'll just put like this at a hundred so right now we're just making the basic inputs and we're gonna have to add them to the layout later on alright so for the price and the quantity quantity alright so this would be called price input and I'll put price right there and quantity input quantity right there so again we have our three inputs name price quantity a place so the user can type in whatever you know new item that they want to add to their store and now let me just make the buttons the add and delete buttons now I'm gonna pretty much set our layout up first so I'm going to be building the user interface and then once I have everything built and looking exactly how I want it to look then I'm going to go and actually add the functionality to these buttons and the rest of our program but for right now just want to get everything built so button the add button is obviously just new button and it will say add on it and I'll make a delete button forever whenever the user wants to delete an item alright so since let me run this real quick so since this entire layout is a v-box in other words if we just place items they would appear to stack on top of each other up and down we want the inputs and the buttons to appear left and right so we're gonna have to make an h-box and we'll stick it at the bottom of here so after you start or after you're done and my mouse fell over by the way I have a vertical mouse go ahead and google vertical mouse right now and if you guys are like how can your mouse fall over how does a mouse a computer mouse fall over look at vertical mouse and you guys will see what kind of weird mouse I'm using alright 
So I'm just going to make a quick hbox layout. Going to name it hbox. Set it equal to new hbox. By the way, does this remind anyone else of HBL? It does me. When else do you see the letters HBO together instead of HBox and HBO? I don't know. By the way, did you guys ever see, um, I think it's called Silicon Valley on HBO? It's a very good show. It's about like computer programmer nerds and stuff. Anyways, you guys are here to learn, not here to hear me talk. All right. So we now have a horizontal layout that we can stick all of these items in. And the first thing I want to do is actually set padding. So what this is going to allow us to do, if we throw a new inset in here, we can type four different values. Top, right, bottom, left. And this is just going to be padding around your entire layout. Not the items themselves inside your layout, but it's going to give us a little bit of um, area so the items don't look like they're butted right up against the edge. So now, we can do that, but the items within the layout are still going to be pressed up against each other. So in order to take care of that, I'll explain exactly what I'm doing whenever you guys actually see this, but set spacing equal to 10. And now for each item, for example, the inputs are going to be separated from the buttons with um, a padding of, or not a padding, a spacing of 10 pixels. So now we pretty much set up our layout, set up all the items. We just need to add all the items to the layout. So HBox, get children at all and what do we have name input price input quantity input add button and a delete button and at all adding is for one at all is for many of them and now all we have to do is add this entire layout to the vbox layout all right so I'm gonna run this and see if I messed anything up Look in good. All right, so this is our horizontal layout, that H box that we just made. And again, as you can see, everything has a padding of 10 pixels, and also in between these little items right here, that has a spacing of 10. So the padding is all the way around, and the spacing is in between each individual one. And now the user can type, um, they'll type something like bacon, the price is like $5.99. And the quantity, uh, you know, they have 60 packs of bacon. And they're going to hit add, and it's going to pop up there. But we need to create that functionality, so let's do that right now. 